You're watching Colchis Press on CCTV News. Now, Vladimir Melikov, the artistic director of the Berlin State Ballet, has brought the company on its maiden voyage to China. Their tenure at Beijing's National Center for the Performing Arts kicked off with a gala performance on Wednesday night. Culture Express's Julian Watkins sat down with Malakoff to talk about his innovative company. Malakoff started his ballet training at the age of four and was subsequently a student at Moscow's prestigious Bolshoi Ballet. Under the tutelage of Peter Pastov, he went on to dance with numerous major ballet companies around the world. Despite taking on the role of artistic director in 2004 for the Berlin State Ballet, Malakoff remains an integral part as a first soloist in the company. Prior to coming to the Berlin State Ballet, you moved from being the youngest principal dancer from the Cla Moscow Classical Ballet to the Vienna State Ballet, and then from the National Ballet of Canada to American Ballet Theater, ABT, and to Stuttgart Ballet. What was it like moving from one company to the other? Is it part of the career of being a dancer to move about? When you're young, it's good, you know? Because you want to try uh, different things, lots of uh, different companies, different repertoire, but slowly you need to settle down, you need to have a place where you can go from this place. I give up National Ballet of Canada, uh, Vienna Staatsoper also, because I became a director in, in Berlin. Mm, of course, I sometimes I go to uh, ABT, but also not anymore. I have different, you know, something you lose, something you find, something's come out. For example, you know, different uh, different places uh, also. Uh, not so much dance. You can teach. You can, I do the choreography. I can uh, direct. I go to the competitions. You know, actually, the scale is going slowly. Also, to the scale is go a little bit higher to concentrate more for the like artistic director for the Staatsballet Berlin to find the new talents. That's why I'm going to the different competitions sometimes to look if there's somebody interesting. And also, uh, I'm not the choreographer, I cannot say I'm the choreographer. I like to restage the ballet more than to do some new choreography. Of course, I'm not the John Neumeyer or William Forsyth or Killian or you know, people, Kranko or Macmillan, who create ballet from, from zero. I like to restage, I like to research, I like romantical style, I like uh, to uh, also uh, searching for something what has been lost, like antique. Well, this is the first time the Berlin State Ballet Company has um, come to China since it was first founded in 2004. How did this come about? Oof. It's in 2004. Uh, from the beginning, it has been very hard because uh, when they put three companies together in one, you know, you need to build the repertoire, you need to make different repertoire from three opera houses and then it was uh, after it took around four years until it's everything settled down then uh, another opera house came like a comic show because they have tradition to have only the modern choreography you have a one day performance Staats opera one performance in deutsche opera one is in performance in the comic show opera and of course for companies it was so stress i think we're one company in the world who is dancing in three opera houses now with the Staatsoper close to renovation, we moved to the Staatsoper, moved to the Schiller Theater. What is also good because the, most of the quantity of the performance we have in the uh, Staatsoper before, but because this is a small house, they reduced of the quantity of the performance. That's why we have possibility to travel a little bit more. It's much nicer also for the company that they can go out of Berlin to mm -hmm. see the world, to be close to each other. To, you know, because we see each other only in the state, in the rehearsals, in the class, good morning, how are you, and then work, work, work. You know, of course, I communicate with some dancers, but the whole company, to have them closer friendship, you can do this only when you're touring. As artistic director, Malakov is also keen to foster a healthy family relationship in the company. Of the ten principal dancers coming to China, there are three married couples. These remarkable bonds behind the scenes certainly translate to the stage. The Berlin State Ballet is a family that continues to grow. 
The Berlin State Ballet is one of the largest ballet troops in Germany. It has over 88 dancers and people coming from 26 plus different countries. This is probably the most diverse ballet troupe seen around. What is it about diversity? Is diversity part of the visions of the company? I'm sure now it's not, I think it's 32 okay. nationalities. Wow. Are there any Chinese dancers in the company? Yes, one. One Chinese dancer? Yes. And where is she from? How did you find him or her? Actually, she came, f I don't know where she came from, Royal or States. I don't remember. I will not say, but uh, she is the first year in the company, mm -hmm. and uh, we will see what is, will be her future. And if you were the artistic director of the National Ballet of China, what would be the first ballet that you would put on, and what would you keep, and what would you change? First of all, I will not change anything. I need to, you cannot change everything in the first year. First, you need to look. Then you can already see what is going on. Then you can see what is the fit to the dancers, to what is the fit for the company. Because this is, in my mind, different ballet, but maybe it doesn't fit for the Chinese company. That's why I will look first. And then I will say, okay, this and this and this. For his first visit to China, the 45-year-old Malakov has already made plans to visit the Great Wall, wants to try acupuncture, and of course, taste Peking duck while he's here in Beijing. And you love Peking duck, I heard you say yes, downstairs. Uh, what, 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 have, what about Peking duck do you love? Everything. Everything? <laughs> I like the taste, you know, I'll, I like this, how it's called, this... Um, Mm, pancake with this sauce, yeah, and then put the skin, and of course you feel like after. <laughs> but it's okay. Is there perhaps a correlation between Peking duck and ballet? <laughs> uh, you need to work a lot to eat Peking duck, to put the sauna pants, <laughs> to lose weight, and then you can eat Peking duck. The company will be performing a mixed program on June 5th and 6th and an original ballet, La Paris, on June 8th and 9th at the National Center for the Performing Arts in Beijing. Julian Wakan, CCTV.